It's me, Bussy, and today we take yet another step further from God's light. Because while some people online think Tamisha's been holding young gays in her basement hostage and forcing them to read pre-written scripts exonerating her identity as Alabama star, I have reason to believe that Tamisha is being framed and the entire fandom is getting trolled. This is the story of Alabama underscore star. Just three days ago now, Tamisha Iman made a surprise return to the internet, announcing a reboot of the Tamisha Iman Network, a new podcast, a new daily radio show hosted on the brand new Tamisha Iman Network Radio, a self-branded cosmetics line, a new merch store, and single-handedly ended world hunger. At least in the drag race drama world, that is. Because girls, she is keeping us fed. She's also spent some time in the past few days denying that she's been masquerading on Reddit under the username Alabama Star, an account that claims to be a 30-year-long supporter of the legend and icon herself, Tamisha Iman. This was an account that viciously defended Tamisha's name on the RPDR drama subreddit before getting called out and one time on the Formula One subreddit. <laughs> And to the accuser's credit, Tamisha did publicly thank this Reddit user on both her Twitter and Instagram. And foolishly, I thought this whole saga was over when Alabama Star themselves published a farewell message on Reddit, writing, It has come to my attention that some Reddit and Twitter trolls are claiming that I am Tamisha Iman. I will, from now on, no longer be posting on Reddit as it is full of jealous individuals who have so much hatred in their heart towards queens and entertainers. I am not Tamisha Iman, only a supporter for the last 30 years. Goodbye. I even created a virtual tombstone for Miss Alabama Star in my last video, shot off a cannon, and gave a three-finger salute to the sky. But as it turns out, Alabama Star had one more thing to say. This time in video form. The day is September 22nd, and only five hours after their farewell message, Alabama Star returns to Reddit, posting a thread titled, Perfect Proof That I, Alabama underscore Star, am not Tamisha Iman. I am not her. Please stop accusing Tamisha Iman of hiding behind a fake Reddit account. She would never do that. I don't know Tamisha, and we have never spoken. I am only a fan. Thank you. With a link to what they referred to as, quote, my confession, which led to an audio only black screened YouTube video posted by the brand new YouTube account, Alabama Star. And normally I would only play clips of source material and videos like these, but the entirety of this one minute and 42 second confession is an historical artifact and cannot go unheard. So let's listen together. Hi everyone, I wanted to make a recording to prove to people that Tamisha is not Alabama Star on Reddit. It is me. I take full responsibility. I've been supporting her during her whole career and that's the reason why I created the account. So please just believe her when she said on Twitter that Alabama Star is not her account, okay? She has no reasons to lie, so just leave her alone. Most of the fans know that she is so sweet and so kind and she's always been so loved uh, by the fans. In, in fact, one of the fans' favorites uh, for sure, okay? so just. Just leave her alone. Um, uh, okay, so, uh, and Tamisha Iman is a talented entertainer with over 30 years of experience. She is an icon and a legend, and she will not let Reddit or she, uh, she will not let Reddit or Twitter trolls get in the way of her success. Every single word in these Reddit comments were written by me, the person currently speaking. They were not written by Tamisha Iman. The uh, haters are jealous of her success and have always been. Nevertheless, they will never manage to hurt to hurt Tamisha's feelings because she is a strong and powerful entertainer. For further proofs of the powerful CEO and businesswoman that she is, you can visit her website at tamishaiman.com where she will be selling her upcoming makeup brand, which will be available on October 16th. You don't want to miss it. All right, so. Please stop guys, just stop messaging her about it and move on. Alabama Star is my account and she did not create it and she did not write any comments on it. Okay, so uh, thank you so much and goodbye. Y'all, I probably have watched that like 20 times and it is still funny. <laughs> Okay, that video, it's iconic in and of itself. An entire cultural reset in one video, if I may be so bold. But it's a little too good to be true. Firstly, there's inconsistent editing of this clip. In the beginning of this audio, there's a shortcut from one word to the next. I'll play that now. I created the account, so please just believe her when she said on Twitter, 
I created the account. So please just believe her when she said on Twitter. And in the rest of the clip, there doesn't really seem to be much cutting, despite them having several different pauses and using connecting words like um and uh, which indicates this video was passed through editing software, despite the rest of it sounding like it was recorded in one take. And the more obvious thing that really sticks out about this video is that this person is definitely reading a pre-written script. It's littered with Tamisha-isms like 30 years of experience and randomly talk about her being an icon and a legend. And the chef's kiss cherry on top of this whole masterpiece is the inclusion of the bit about her new makeup line coming out on October 16th. <laughs> I'm dead, deceased, my crops are watered, and my holes are full stretched even. But now let's get into the meat of all this. Who is this person? Obviously, this is not Tamisha Iman. And secondly, it's also definitely not the voice of somebody who has been a Tamisha Iman supporter for, quote, the last 30 years. We would expect a much lower aged voice for someone who, by my estimate, must be 48, assuming that they first saw Tamisha Iman at 18, 30 years ago when they could legally enter bars and clubs. The first conclusion I drew about this video was Tamisha had found a fan, friend, or maybe even hired somebody to read this script on a freelance service like Fiverr. But y'all know I always do my homework. I wanted more information. So I visited the comments section of Reddit and YouTube and found some comments mentioning that at certain timestamps, you could hear the voice of Tamisha Iman. At second 29, we can hear Tamisha say one of the fan's favorites, right before the person repeats this. In, in fact, one of the fan's favorites. <laughs> In, in fact, one of the fans' favorites. And then at the 1 minute and 39 second mark, near the end of the clip, we hear Tamisha say, okay, very good. Okay, so uh, thank you so much and goodbye. Okay, so uh, thank you so much and goodbye. And if I already had been at this point 100% convinced that Alabama star was Tamisha Iman, girl, this put the nail in the coffin for me. But at the same time, I wasn't even mad at the situation. I was both entertained and impressed. I mean, She Devil by Night deleted at the first sign of danger. Alabama star put up a fight. And it just made sense because only Tamisha, the legend and icon herself with 30 years of experience in the drag business, would attempt to build her brand and promote her new makeup line in the same video in which she is exonerating her identity as some anonymous Reddit user. You have to respect the hustle. However, this is the point in the video at which I must tell you that fairy tales are not real. But before we go any further, I do want to quickly remind you that you can support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash bussyqueen. My patron family gets exclusive member benefits like early access to my YouTube videos, exclusive videos, access to the Bussy Queen Discord server, personal shoutouts, and more. Click the link in the description of this video to join today. See you there. Now, let's get back to it. You see, there is another comment on this video that I had originally overlooked, one from Alabama Star themselves. It read, hope everyone listens patiently, which looks innocent at first glance, but all the replies to this comment were pointing out that the first letter of each word spelled out help. This comment turns those awkward pauses and nervousness into fear and intimidation. Of course, people were running wild with conspiracy theories saying that Tamisha Iman had kidnapped some young gay in her basement and was holding them hostage, making them read this script. Some of the replies read, OMG, what is going on? Are you okay? Free Alabama star. Reddit will solve this. An actual cry for help. Tamisha let the kid out of the basement. Okay, now this went from cringe cover-up to the launch of Tamisha's alternate reality game. On the more rational side though, I think it's easy to imagine there is a loyal fan out there willing to do anything for the queen they love and found themselves a little too deep in something that they didn't quite understand the implications of, and thus were calling out for help. But neither of those theories made sense to me. The help comment was too purposeful, too funny. Because if this person had felt in danger or threatened in any way, they simply could have not answered the Zoom call from Tamisha, recorded the video, and edited it and uploaded it to YouTube. And then I found another hint in the list of channels the Alabama Star YouTube account is subscribed to. The list includes Tamisha Iman, Kamara Hall, Elliot with two T's, and two seemingly unrelated channels called Webflow and Google Web Designer. Firstly, I want to point out that this account, if real, is supposed to be a burner account made for the sole purpose of exonerating Tamisha Iman's identity. So why would they take the extra time to subscribe to anyone, much less these specific channels? I will say, if Tamisha were behind the whole thing, I would absolutely expect her to get a new 
new subscriber on her channel. Like, girl, I'm right there with you. But Kimora and Elliot? Their YouTube presence is basically non-existent. And I also want to point out the context of these two names is super important because we just heard from Tamisha on her Tamisha Tuesday webinar that Elliot and Kimora were the only two queens she still had contact with from season 13. And what about the other two seemingly random channels, Webflow and Google Web Designer? They're both drag and drop web page designers, which if Tamisha were behind this whole thing, maybe would make sense that she subscribed to those because she wanted to watch some tutorials on how to improve her website. But here's the kicker. I pulled up the page source of Tamisha's new website, which basically displays all the basic HTML and JavaScript code. And it took me just a couple of seconds to look around and figure out that the website was built using the service called Wix, not Google Web Designer and not Webflow. So I can confidently conclude here that the subscription list, much like the help comment, is just another coded joke. It obviously pokes fun at Tamisha's ego. Her name dropping her season 13 sisters in the recent webinar and her unfinished website, which when she was advertising it on the 21st, didn't even have its SSL certificate installed. And while all of this is enough evidence to convince me that this whole operation is just a hilariously executed troll, there is a smoking gun. So let's take a look at that. After reading every possible thread and comment about this on Reddit that I could find, I found one that mentioned the Tamisha voice clips may be spliced in audio from her previous live streams. One user on Reddit even specifically mentioned the live stream being the one where she calls out Monet Exchange. And sure enough, at the five minute and four second mark of the May 1st, 2021 Tamisha Iman Instagram live stream, there it was. And I thank you guys for allowing me to be one of the fans' favorite. Just like we heard in the confession video. <laughs> In, in fact, one of the fans' favorites. But what about the okay, very good at the end? I listened to quite a few of her live streams and then I realized I may be looking in the wrong place and I was like, duh, it's probably from her drag battle videos of which there are hours and hours of content to pull from. So I went to the very first one, part two of the season one finale and about six minutes and 40 seconds into that video, Tamisha Iman says, very good. Now, she didn't say okay very good, but she did say the word okay several times leading up to that very good. Okay. Okay, okay. So I think it would be pretty easy for somebody to just take a random okay and pair it with a very good that sounds like this. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. <laughs> But all that proves is that the video and YouTube channel are faked. It doesn't prove anything about the identity of the Alabama Star Reddit account. What if the person behind the video was indeed a troll, but was working with Tamisha and two-timing her? And dropped in little hints like the voice bites, comment, and subscription list to tip everybody off. And trust me, I know, this sounds crazier than Tamisha Iman being behind the whole thing, but I also know that somebody will have this theory, so I took the liberty of debunking it now. Firstly, let's take another look at the Alabama Star Reddit username. In my opinion, this username is too obvious a moniker to actually be Tamisha. Why would even the most egotistical person name themselves after their hometown on an account that they intended to use to pretend to be their supporter and defend their name? Plus, if this were Tamisha and she were that egotistical, she probably would have put something about Atlanta in the name. Remember, in her Phenomenon verse, she describes herself as the ATL Peach with a story to tell, not the Alabama star with a really fast car. <laughs> Secondly, like the help comment, the subscription list, and the voice bites, the Formula One subreddit comment is just too good to be true. Yes, it is effing hilarious, maybe the funniest thing that I have seen this year. But when looking at the technical steps of how something like this could happen, it becomes obvious that it's more of a funny idea than an actual possible reality. This comment would imply that Tamisha downloaded Reddit, created a new account, and then innocently typed something like drag race into the search bar and happened upon the Formula One subreddit by accident and then accidentally clicked on a thread and then wrote the comment praising herself while just completely ignoring all of the contextual clues around her that she was not in the right place. We're supposed to believe that Tamisha can write a thesis about herself but can't remember the difference between drag race the show and drag racing the sport? And then the idea that Tamisha is such a technologically disadvantaged egotistical maniac really starts to fall apart when you look at the places this person commented. Every single one of their comments except for the one made in the Formula One subreddit was made in the RPDR drama thread? If this were, let's say, Tamisha looking for posts specifically about her and was looking for them by searching her name, why would she only manage to land on threads made in that subreddit? There are tons of other drag race related threads that mention her by name and there are certainly plenty that are more recent than, for example, the one that she commented on from four months ago in the drama thread. And finally, I can't end this section of the video without addressing the typing style, which is eerily 
very similar to Tamisha's. But Tamisha actually has such a distinct typing style that it would be very easy for anybody to pick up on the fact that Tamisha is always using the phrase my love and talking about trolls on Twitter. Pair those two phrases with her personality trait of always exalting herself and talking about how she's a legend and icon with 30 years of experience, well, it would be really easy to pretend to be Tamisha. The red flag for me though and the way this person typed was actually the use of extra spacing and random misspelled words. I actually couldn't find a single instance of Tamisha putting extra spacing before and after punctuation like Alabama Star frequently did. And Tamisha's typing, while not always 100% grammatically correct, was never littered with typos in the way that Alabama Star's was. And there is one more subtle but very telling difference. Tamisha pretty much always capitalizes the first letter in her sentences, and Alabama Star rarely did. So at this point, we've seen several pieces of evidence the YouTube video published by Alabama Star titled I Am Not Tamisha Iman is not Tamisha Iman. And we've spent a good amount of time looking at how the behavioral characteristics of the Reddit account do a decent job of mimicking Tamisha's online voice, but ultimately look more like a parody than the real deal. Alabama Star is a troll that knows the Drag Race fandom, its drama, and Tamisha Iman's personality traits very well. And they were able to convince so many people so quickly because they were taking advantage of a very specific community, the RPDR drama subreddit, that is already hyper vigilant of situations like this because of Sheet Devil by Night. But what does Tamisha think about all of this? I think it was made pretty clear early on that she was not a Redditor, given that when she thanked this person for defending her, it was when she reshared their comment in the Formula One subreddit. Anyone that actually used Reddit would have taken one look at that and known, oh, something weird is going on here. I would guess she's just seen screenshots here and there and has a vague idea that somebody online is pretending to be her. And she does continue to deny this when pressed for an answer, although she is sort of giving people strange answers as they continue to harass her about it. For example, like this comment where somebody said good morning Alabama star and she replied with this. And this other DM where she clearly is upset judging by the text written above the message. I mean, she's not affirming that she is Alabama star, she's just tired of y'all's bullshit. <laughs> Undoubtedly, this whole situation is hilarious. A masterpiece in trolling and undoubtedly an iconic moment in Drag Race drama history. But I do really want to encourage you to enjoy all of this with caution. It's okay to laugh about this with friends or outside of Tamisha's walls, but Tamisha is a real person with real feelings and constantly going in her comment section or sending her direct messages with this stuff, she clearly doesn't find it funny. So please stop doing that. And concerning the true identity of Alabama Star, I have an idea that I'm working on and researching but I don't have a smoking gun to present to you today. If you have any legitimate tips though, you know where to drop a line. And as always, I want to say thank you for watching today's video and give a special shout out to Lark, Aliao, Angel, Adaluda, Cyrus, Felicia, JB, Joseph, Josh, JP in Dallas, Laura, Matthew, Maxila, wow, Miss F, Neely, Robert Reeves, Scooby Snacks, Sailor, Steven, Tom Jaco, Tom Young, Topher A, Triton, and who were all supporting me at my Bussy Queen Collector tier. See y'all later. Love ya. Bye.